Let's try it out with towers and bridges. Hands-on early learning science activities by Seymour Simon and Nicole Fotu, illustrated by Doug Cushman. What happens when a tree falls across a stream? Animals can use it to get from one side to the other, but people need bridges to get across water. Can you build a bridge across a stream? Let's try it out. Find a piece of ribbon or a jump rope. Lay it down straight in front of you and place two large blocks on either side of your pretend stream. Now lay a piece of paper across the blocks. If the bridge falls down, try pushing the blocks closer together. If the bridge stays up, try pulling the blocks apart so the paper can span or reach across a wider stream. Is it easier to build a bridge that spans a short distance or a long distance? When you find a good length for your bridge, see if some pretend people can get across. You can use paper clips or tiny plastic figures. How many of them can your bridge hold before it falls down? What do you think will happen if you change the shape of the paper? Will it make your bridge stronger? Let's try it out. Take a sheet of paper and arch or bend it between the two blocks. Does your arched bridge hold more pretend people than your flat paper bridge did? Use your pretend people to find out. Arches are strong shapes. They make good bridges. But suppose you want a bridge that's flat. Try folding the side edges of the paper. Do the folds make the bridge stronger?